Hey everybody, Stephen Ewing from MotorOne.com here, and I'm outside of beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, up in Canada, testing a very cool car. This is the Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo. It's the Panamera wagon. It's the car that we never thought they would build, and then they showed a concept. We were like, no, they're not gonna do a wagon. Then they showed the production one. We were like, they're not really gonna do a wagon, but now I'm in it. I'm in a Porsche station wagon. The one I have today is the turbo, which means it's got 550 horsepower from a bi-turbo 4-liter V8. And I've got some really great driving roads at my disposal today, so I'm going to take it out and see how it does. So from inside and out on the road, the Sport Turismo is just a Panamera. I mean, again, the differences are from the B-pillar back. So everything under the hood, the four liter bi-turbo V8, in this case of the turbo model, is the same as the normal Panamera. I've got 550 horsepower, 567 pound-feet of torque, eight-speed dual-clutch PDK transmission managing everything, and uh, standard all-wheel drive. Every Panamera Sport Turismo comes with all-wheel drive. You can't get a rear drive version. So in terms of driving, it's, it's as good as any other Panamera. I mean, it's really sharp, it's so fast, it really truly feels like a four-door 911. You know, you, you kind of feel the weight, though I don't really feel the added weight of the Sport Turismo versus a normal Panamera Turbo, but it's so fast in a straight line, it handles corners really well, the steering is nicely weighted, it's just got this nice solid planted feel. It's got a great balance. If you've ever driven a Porsche Cayman or a Boxster or a 911, you know that Porsche does balance really, really well. Everything just kind of works together to make a cohesive, great sports car. And none of that is lost in the Sport Turismo package. So there's a dial here on the steering wheel, which is the way you can switch between the different drive modes in the Panamera. Right now I'm in sport. There's sort of a normal mode. You can do an individual mode where you can adjust certain settings yourself. And then there's a sport plus mode that puts everything on boil. But what I love is in the middle, there's this little button that when you press it for 20 seconds, the car automatically goes into its perfect settings for the best of everything. It's, it's kind of like a push to pass feature. So since I happen to be on a two lane road right now, I can press it and you <laughs> it just goes. <laughs> oh, I love this car. And the car automatically goes right back into normal mode where I had it, but that button's always there. That's like your speeding ticket button. That's the go directly to jail button. Ugh, that's the love button. So honestly, my favorite part about the Panamera Sport Turismo is the Panamera itself. Don't get me wrong, everything about the Sport Turismo is cool. It looks awesome, there's tons of space back there, and since most Porsche utility owners are gonna wind up in Macans and Cayennes, you're actually gonna have something kinda rare if you end up buying one of these. Of course, like any Porsche, it'll cost you. This is the turbo, and it starts at 154 grand. And like all Porsches, the moment you start adding any option, the price skyrockets. I'm gonna look at the spec sheet for this car, and including the $3,300 paint, the $3,600 wheels, the $2,500 night vision assist, the $5,900 sound system, $2,800 adaptive cruise, and even weird things like the $350 ionizer, and the $840 cooled seats, I'm working with a car that as tested is 186 grand. That's a lot of money to pay for the exclusivity of being able to say you drive a Porsche station wagon, but being able to say you drive a Porsche station wagon is pretty cool. I love this car, you will too. For Motor One, I'm Steven Ewing. Thanks for watching.